All right, so you guys have been doing scatterplot for a long time now, right? All a scatterplot is, is the relationship between two sets of yeah. There's some different types of core or types of relationships. Okay, we have a positive, and we call our these relationships correlations. Write that in there. You're going to have to know that this relationship is called a correlation. Okay, if our two sets of data have a positive correlation, okay, they are going to go uphill, just like our positive slope, right? Right. If they have a negative correlation, they are going to go downhill, just like our negative slope. It's like an art class with the pointillism. Okay, and if it doesn't have a correlation, they're kind of spread all over the place. So you can't tell if it's positive or negative. <laughs> I like it. All right, so then line of best fit. Okay, line of best fit is if you have a positive or negative correlation, okay, so it's only, if you don't have a correlation, you can't do a bit line of best fit. Only if you have a positive or negative correlation, okay, you can find the equation of the line make predictions. Okay, so the whole reason why we find the line of best fit is so that we can make some predictions of our line. Okay, so our first step when we are trying to find our the line of best fit is to draw the line of best fit. Okay, and the line of best fit, what's going to happen is it's going to go through the line. You've got to find the line that best goes through your data point. Okay, so like I'm going to find my line to kind of go through. I kind of feel like it's about here-ish. No, it should be lower. Okay, no, you have to draw it first. Yep. Yep, I know what it is. I'm just going to be able to draw it because my ruler keeps getting up a little bit. And so it looks kind of like that. It probably should be a little bit lower. And my ruler wasn't working very well. Okay. So what is my, so my starting point or my y-intercept is always that point where it goes through, right? Which in this case is about... Look at look at where where it goes through. Where does it go through about? Seventy five. Okay. So which one of these has a y intercept of seventy five? Five B. Okay. If we went with eighty, I think it would be a little bit too far up, right? And if we look, we can find here's the point that's on the line. Here's the point that's on the line, and it's got a slope of about negative one third. Okay, right. so number one, right, draw, draw the line in there where you think it fits best. Oh, I think my 
Have yourself an L1? Yep. Why not? Did you hit stat, enter? All right. What are you looking for? Right here. These arrows right here. Okay, so you just use the over button. Okay, and so then you're L2, 79, 81, 79, 58, 58, 43, 48, 13, and 1. Okay, you have your L1s and your L2s in? Sam, yours are in? All right. Okay, so make sure that 80 matches up with 1. Otherwise, you're going to get an error. Everybody's 80 matches up with 1. Okay, Christian, you got them all in yet? I know you were a little behind. It's on your paper, but it's right in front of you. <laughs> you just use your paper. <laughs> All right, so now you're going to hit stat again. Okay, and then you have to arrow over so that you're on kelp. So arrow over one. Now you've got all these options. We want number four, because what, see how it says AX plus B? That looks a lot like MX plus B, right? So we want number four. And then you can just keep hitting enter all the way down to calculate until it shows up like that. Okay, so notice how up here it says Y equals AX plus B, right? And it tells you what A is and what B is. So we're going to write our equation based off of that. So y equals, what's my a? No, negative 1.07. Okay, you always do two decimal places. Okay, x, yep. Okay, x. Plus, what's my B? 82.87. There is my equation. Okay. So now, what's my so in the B part B says estimate the average temperature for a city with a latitude of 48. Was latitude my X or was it my Y when I entered them in? It was my X, right? So what am I going to plug in for X? 48. So I'm going to go y equals negative 1.07 times 48 plus 92.87. Now, when you enter these into your calculator, listen very carefully. Okay? You have to hit enter after this right here. Brody, are you listening? You have to hit enter and multiply before you add. So I'm going negative 1.07. Oops, I still say that negative 1.07 times 48. I've got to hit enter to say that I'm multiplying. Now I can add my 92.87. Enter. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, so my average temperature at that latitude is going to be about 41.51 what? Degrees, because we are talking temperature. So move down, move to number two. Okay, see if you can replicate that. Okay, that's what we're going to talk about. Okay, just, I will talk about it, Donna. Donna, I'm about to tell you. Okay, no, stop. I'm about to tell you. Okay? 
because that's the same question everybody else has right now. Okay, so we've got to go back to STAT, enter. Okay, and if you forget these steps, they're on the top of your page. All right, in order to clear them, we're going to hit our up arrow. So now my L2 is highlighted. I'm going to hit clear, enter. So it clears that out, and then I'm going to go over to my L1. I'm going to go up. So now my L1 is highlighted. I'm going to hit clear, enter. Okay, so my L1 is 75. 92, and once you get your L1, your passengers put in, put in your suitcases and your L2. It's all on your page, right there in front of you. And always check to make sure your last numbers match up. So 200 goes with 405. Anybody having any issues right now? Good. All right, so let's find our line of best fit. Hit stat, over to calculate, four, and then hit enter until you get to calculate. So you guys got? Yeah. All right, so we got y equals 1.98x <coughs> plus all right, so if they want us to estimate the number of suitcases for a flight carrying 250 people, what am I doing? Putting it in for what? X, so 1.98 times 250 plus 7.97 Thank <laughs> you. 